I, I'm sorry to laugh, but they, when I think of the budgets today, uh, it, it's the comparison is uh, it, it's almost ridiculous. Our deal with American Tobacco Company was uh, they would pay us eight thousand five hundred dollars per half hour. So uh, that was the agreement under which we shot probably about the first three, perhaps four half hours. Then our accountants came to us, Rudy Abel and the accountants came to us and said, hey, wait a minute. We have looked at all of the figures now. You're getting $8,500 per show from American Tobacco Company. And these films are costing you approximately $11,500. So you're going in the hole $3,000 a film. And uh, you know, the old joke about volume <laughs> will not solve your problems. Uh, so that was a pretty grim uh, statement to hear from, uh, from the business guys, the accountants and Rudy Abel. So we went back to uh, Foot Conan Building and through Foot Conan Building to American Tobacco Company explained our problem, and uh, believe it or not, they were sympathetic to, a certain, to an extent, and they said, okay, we will raise you right now. We were supposed to go, the first 26 would have been done at 8,500 per show. If the option was picked up for another 26, pardon me, we would go to $9,500 per show. And if memory serves me right, and I'm a little torn here, I think that American Tobacco Company, through Foot Kona Building, agreed to raise us right then and there to $9,500 per show, which was very generous. They didn't have to do that. But they, they offered it, and we accepted it. However, that was still $2,000 short per show uh, as we continued production. And I remember this very vividly. I then, and I've never been much of a businessman, my work later on as producer has always been on the side of finding stories, working on the stories with a writer to develop screenplay, and then into casting and production. Uh, granted, I did have to sit in on budgets <coughs> and uh, cut budgets when necessary, etc. But I was not much of a businessman. In spite of that, I was the head of this group, so I was the one who went around to banks to get a loan from a bank that would enable us to continue shooting these films, losing now $2,000 per show. So I would go into a bank and see the head loan officer, and I did this with several banks, and explain what we were doing. We were the first show on, first show to, on film to be televised as a series for a national network, NBC, et cetera. And uh, we needed money to help us go through the 26 shows. And the bank would say, well, if we lend you this money, what assurance do we have that we'll get it back? Which is a fairly common question to ask somebody who's lending you money. And I told them that our contract with American Tobacco Company called for us to have the rights to these films revert to us uh, within one year, I think it was, after they had run on NBC. And I explained to the bank, these films were, would revert to us, and we expected to sell them again for showing uh, again. And these residual values, in a sense, would guarantee the bank uh, their money. And the bank said, what residual values? How do we know that if they've already been on television, that you'd ever be able to sell them again. I mean, wh wh why should we think that? They've run, that's it. I could not convince a single back bank in town that there was such a thing as residual values in these shows, even though they were on film. And it seemed to me quite plain that they would be usable again, but the banks couldn't see it. And so we struggled. For the whole 26 shows, we were in dangerous areas of running out of money. 